Hello! Today I'll be working on an 8x8 gallery wrapped canvas that I've already taped down. And we'll also be using the Wallex Pouring Medium. Now Wallex is a Canadian company, so those who are Canadian can order online. I believe they are an Ontario based company, so Canadian made paints. We will also be using the Wallex Fluid Acrylics. I'm using today Iridescent Silver. Cerulean Blue, Dioxazine Purple, Cadmium Red Medium Hue, and Phthalo Blue. Now if you've never worked with Wallach's Pouring Medium, it is a semi-gloss, very liquidy medium. It will turn any paint into its most liquid form. Here, let me give you an example. Here's the cup. See how liquidy that is? Ooh, shaku, shaku. It is very, very liquidy. So what I've found with this medium is that because it is so liquidy, that colors can become mud very quickly. So what I've done is decided that I'm going to do a ring pour because I found that this medium can hold very crisp colored lines, but not so much like a flip cup. A flip cup has the potential to make mud and this uh, pouring medium will happily accommodate mud. So I'm going to start with pouring a cup. I'm going to layer my colors. So I'm starting with my purple, going into my cerulean. I'm going to pick up the phthalo. You can see how just how liquidy these are as they pour. Cadmium red, adding a metallic silver. I'm normally a gold girl, but I thought this was a very cool toned palette of colors. See some colors, just like all paints, some colors are a little more accepting of a medium than others. These two are very liquidy. All right, we've got our cup. Now I'm going to do a ribbon pour. Let's hope that turns out. Let's go. I'm losing a lot of color in here. Well, that turned into one color of blue. Hmm. Let's see if I add a couple of ribbons of red. Can it hold its own? This might be the way to use this medium, is directly. Ooh, does it look like it's sinking? Looks like it's sinking. Especially want to see what happens with this silver. Can it hold its own? Oh, it's disappearing. You can see the halo around the edge. See if we can get the purple to work. Do your job, purple. Hmm. Wow. And this medium needs a level surface, and I do mean level. Like, even if the canvas itself isn't level, it will find the level for you. It is so very liquidy, almost like a water type consistency. Consistency. Beautiful colors, though. 
going to be get the weight of the paint over first. I've also learned that this paint likes to have wet sides. So if you're a side stickler, if you like to have your sides covered uh, properly by the runoff of the paint, you're going to have to give it just a little, little bit of help. Um, it really doesn't like to stick. Well, that's not true. It likes to stick, but it likes to stick uh, streaky. When it runs down the sides of it, has no, uh, if it has no support. So just quickly going to dot up my sides. It's extremely dark. I'm assuming it's going to dry darker. I've only done a few experiments with this medium so far. Uh, my favorite ones are ones of solid colors. I've only been successful with a couple of ribbon pours. Uh, I was zero successful with a flip cup. Just because the, the colors became so muddy, it was hard to uh, distinguish the colors from each other. Okay. Oh, I've already got a... See? Finds the path of least resistance and it will take it. Okay, I think I need to spin, get some of this paint off. Was that some ASMR of some sounding of rain or what? Holy smokes. Just came flying off. One more ought to do it. <laughs> the sound of that is just satisfying and horrifying at the same time. <laughs> One more baby spin. Now what I found is that this doesn't seem to sell up there doesn't seem to be any kind of activator that I've been testing with from the Shelly or Shelly uh, art uh, medium with the Australian Floetrol. I've tried with US Floetrol. I've tried with uh, titanium white paint. I've tried with other kinds of white paint from not from Amsterdam uh, to see what cellular reaction might happen. And so far I've noticed none, but uh, let's try heat. Let's see what happens when we torch it. Does that do something? Is it heat reactive? No. No, it's not. 
so there we have it. This is a this was a test of the Wallex pouring medium. Ooh, oh, there we go. The Wallex pouring medium. Interesting stuff. Very like look at it. You can see in the bottle just how fluid it really is. Um, very interesting. Worth a shot. Absolutely give it a go. Um, and here, we'll do a close-up of this piece here. See how shiny it is? You can just see the reflection of my ring light that's not on. If I turn the light on, it will probably blind everyone. But, you know, some beautiful colors that are there. Um, a lot of colors disappeared, though. Uh, my silver has gone. Uh, my purple seems to have disappeared. My red seems to be getting eaten up by the blue. But uh, very interesting medium to work with. Uh, give it a go. It's relatively inexpensive, about $20 for a one liter bottle. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.